Hollywood, Hollywood actress welcomes child with no father. Guys, welcome back to this channel. Popular Nigerian actress Ini Edo from Akwai Bomb State has welcomed a child without a father. Now, for a while, rumors have had it that Ini Edo has a new child, and we are like, how? This woman, since her divorce in 2014, after five years of marriage and the marriage produced no child she's not been publicly seen with any man so we began to come around that oh the man is a married person and the child is just a few months old but we didn't see any sign that Inyedo was pregnant and so for the first time in a while she sat down for an interview and she revealed how the child came to be so indeed she is a mother to a few months year old child will be one year very soon but the baby has no father Let's get right into it, guys. Inyedo has revealed in an interview how a child came to be. She said she welcomed the child via surrogacy. She says, Yes, I have a daughter and I had her through surrogacy. The eggs are mine, and so genetically, this baby is my blood. She said that she intentionally chose the path to fulfill her dream of becoming a mother. She just wants to be a mother, and she felt like, Why not? She even says that she, she has some good numbers of egg frozen in case she decides that she wants to go through surrogacy again or she wants to carry a baby herself but who knows now when she was asked about the baby's father seeing as okay of course the egg is yours what about the spam she says oh i do not even know who the person is because i got the eggs via a donor she said that i opted for a donor and me and my baby for me and my baby's peace of mind she also said that another reason she decided to go for a donor is because of the bra and how any small thing a mother and a father will bring their matters to public you know to public space controversies in public forum over a child or when the man starts insisting that he wants to keep the child if things do not work out between both parties for her it is the fear of what that would mean for the child which is why she opted for a donor she says that ideally she understands that um usually it is marriage then children but she's we are not living in an ideal world so yes she decided that she was going to make lemonades out of the lemons that has been thrown away and that she has no regrets and in her own words she says life itself is so fragile and short to be striving for perfection i am well and capable of taking care of my own child as i've been taking care of myself i wanted a child and thank god for the options of surrogacy and donors now when she was asked why she didn't let us into this juicy juicy gist in time she said that she wasn't really keeping her child private or she wasn't trying to avoid talking about the child but she wanted to you know hold on to the good news and share with us in her own time when the child clocks a year old she says i was open to talk about her on her first birthday in a few months but mischief makers beat me to it and spoils the beautiful story with lies you know remember i said that allegations had that she was with a married man she said oh yes a lot of her, in fact it was said that she was she was going out with the governor of our state you know she was she was a political appointee at some point in 2016 oh goodness this woman has seen a lot of allegations when it comes to being with married men especially rich married men the sad thing about the whole thing for her is that we dragged a lot of innocent men into the equation when it had absolutely nothing to do with the man Anyways, guys, you know I said that she was married previously, and since the end of her marriage, she was married to a U.S. businessman, U.S. based businessman, Philip A. Yigma. Uh, in 2008, they got married. They divorced in 2014 over grounds of irreconcilable differences. Philip was accusing Inyedo of cheating. Inyedo said you were cheating. You know, it was even said that Philip left her for a Ghanaian woman, but that was not the first time Philip would get married and he would have several allegations against him. In fact, they are married in 2008. Inyedo married him and, and missed huge controversy because his first wife ruth okoro did not let the man rest going on you know, granting interviews accusing the man of saying several things in fact it said that she even told inyedo that american fbi was after philip and she should better not go ahead with the marriage however she still went ahead with the marriage they broke up and in 2021 philip got married for the third time and close friends are saying they are watching it very closely because they feel like the marriage itself will not last because apparently the problem is with philip he is the one with some habits that naturally no woman should want to be a, you know and after some years you realize that oh i'd rather leave than be stuck in marriage with somebody like this i guess that is what happened with Inedo. indeed if his friends and close colleagues can say that about him you know 
anyways guys let's talk more about this award-winning nollywood actress who had featured in over 200 movies she was born on the 23rd of april 1982 she is currently 39 years old she's an author of multiple degrees she owns a diploma degree in theater arts from the university of oyo she owns a ba degree in english from the prestigious university of calaba and in 2014 she got a scholarship to study law at the national Open university of nigeria so she is uh, a theater artist she um he is an english degree older and she's also a lawyer so to say she's received lots of political appointment like i said but let's start from the very beginning of her career right she made an hollywood debut in 2003 although from a religious family her mother was a teacher and her father a church elder um she wanted to do different things and i, I told you she did english but as luck will have it she found herself in nollywood she acted in the movie her first movie was stick madam 2003 then it wasn't until she acted in world apart as uli in 2004 that nigerians accepted in year door and since then she's appeared in over 200 films one of nigeria's most successful actresses some of our movies include emotional blackmail i want my money last picnic living in tears living without you men do cry pretty angels i swear legacy she acted in faces of beauty tears for nancy i loved tears for nancy carol the iron blender royal gift political control breathe again the patient chief daddy it was chief daddy this movie that she announced uh, but she never publicly said she went under the knife she's never addressed it but the inner body that we've seen in the past years even until 2018 was not the body we saw in 2019 in chief daddy and definitely not the body we've been seeing you know subsequently she did some major works on her body she also featured in citation queen of lions 2020 movie um right and uh, she's won several awards like i said 2012 golden icons academy movie award of the honorarium honorarium appreciation award the 2018 zafa global awards are the best actress the 2013 afka award for best supporting actress among others she was glow ambassador for 10 years from 2006 on 2016 she was um, she is the ambassador for um slint in nigeria she owns her own clothing brand she owns her own production company she's a movie producer scriptwriter among other things um yes a marriage crashed and whatnot she is worth over 550 million naira she is one of the highest paid and sought after actresses in nigeria she actually owns a lot of luxurious vehicles and her home in Lekki, lagos nigeria is estimated to be around 183,000 us dollars she owns a, a range rover suv she owns a bmw x5 she owns a mercedes g wagon g65 lexus lx570 among others in 2011 this lady was appointed by the united nations habitat as a youth ambassador she was uh, appointed special assistant to the aqua bomb states governor on culture and tourism by udom gabriel emmanuel in 2016 she's a philanthropist and she spends much of her time giving back to the less privileged and also using her platform as a movie producer to you know give upcoming actors actresses in the industry a chance to prove their worth because most of our movies you'd realize are self-produced movies you realize that she has a lot of new faces in the industry and they all do exceptionally well and from there they just continue on to big screen so she gives platforms to upcoming acts and she said it herself and yes indeed i can say that in Inedo tries the best to give back to the society. Anyways, guys, that is it concerning Inedo's biography. The main gist of this video is that she has a child and she got the child via surrogacy and a donor's palm. Let me know what you think concerning that. You know, I would love to hear from you. She's not the first celebrity to do it. A lot of them, um, a lot of celebrities have been going to do it. Kim Kardashian set this record um, a long time ago with her children. But in Nigeria, I've realized that among women and mothers, especially, of course, women, uh, we don't talk a lot about other means to motherhood aside from you know carrying the child within your womb and all that even ivf iui we don't really talk about it what do you think about the old situation i would love to hear from you in the comment section you know getting the child via surrogacy so this is it about Eniedo's baby she is a mother and i hope that very soon she's going to show us the face of this beautiful girl when she clocks one year old like she originally planned to do i'll see you in the next video though guys if you enjoyed this video share one or two three people let them know that Eniedo now has a baby yay at 39 she welcomed a child via surrogacy also subscribe to this channel if you're yet to do that and i will see you in the next video guys on 
until then though people of god people of the internet take care of yourself take care of your health and bye